In this video I would like to show how a spider control SCADA server which is located on the Raspberry Pi will read out an analog value from a smart PLC. Um, use this uh, value which is read from the smart PLC and the spider PLC function block description logic. Um, call a function from Python to multiply, so this is the Python code and uh, then write the result back to uh, an output to a, a variable on a, a Symatic S7-1200 PLC. Um, I will show next how uh, the components which you need on uh, the Raspberry Pi need to be installed and how you can invoke um, Python code uh, from the Spider PLC. To install the SCADA server and Spider PLC on your Raspberry Pi, uh, go to the spidercontrol.net download section. So choose for download area. And go to the Raspberry Pi section. And you can download one of these uh, images. We'll take this uh, ST31. Go to checkout. Enter your email address. And proceed to the checkout. We will copy the zip file which we just downloaded to the Pi directory. We will then um, extract it. We can um, open the info text which will now explain us what to do to unpack and install um, the complete package. So you can do this um, using the console and just following these instructions. There are more uh, information about how to install uh, the SCADA server as a service which will automatically be starting and how to also start uh, you know, your Node.js uh, or Python code automatically. For this demo we will just um, proceed um, with showing what happened after the installation. So when uh, we unpacked and, and uh, started and rebooted um, the system we were then able to access um, the Spider PLC from uh, an external PC uh, just by indicating the IP address port 8080 um, which would open uh, the start page and here we can open the web editor and we would proceed to um, function block description programming and we have here two samples um, which uh, show us uh, how we can call JavaScript or Python code. So the example um, running the Python code uh, is uh, pre-installed here. Um, the function blocks which uh, will call external code can be found here. So you can just uh, enter your own functional block um, from here and then enter the respective uh, information. In this case we will just um, call uh, the function name and add an input and an output um, and a trigger to call the respective function. When we go back to the Raspberry Pi we need to start this Python uh, code right now. So we will uh, enter the www directory, go to HMI, SCD fold and scripts. 
So here you can find our samples that we just made for uh, Node.js and Python. Um, when you double click on the Python code, this will open um, the Python ID which is pre-installed on, on the later uh, Pythons showing uh, the detailed code and we can just, just uh, run it from here. So the web server to communicate <coughs> with Spider PLC has now started and we're now able to um, exit, build and run and start the debugger and see uh, we go to the Python section we will enter um, some values and trigger the function and we see how the calculation is actually done on um, the Raspberry Pi. So if you want to connect inputs and outputs from PLCs you will also need a driver configuration so to do this please uh, have a look at uh, the other video which is indicated below in the text um, showing how this is done and in the info uh, text file um, which is part of the download procedure there is also more information on uh, how to connect other runtimes. Thank you for watching.